Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call the meeting of the Webster Groves TIF Commission to order. Fran, if you could uh, please call the roll of the members. Kyle Wilson. Present. Brian Murphy. Here. Clark Hotailing. Here. Mark Hinkle. Present. Andrea Nelson Roberts. Present. Ray Galk. Here. Paul Hampel. Present. Jay Nelson. Present. Jacob Trimble. Present. Kevin McKenna. Present. David Addison. Present. Pam Frazier. Present. Okay, there is a quorum present and we will proceed to the stated agenda. Item three on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. Uh, members, the draft minutes have been presented to you. Um, are there any corrections to the minutes other than those suggested by staff? And I apologize, Mr. Chair, we do not have any corrections from staff. So I noticed just that. as okay. submitted. Not hearing anyone, anyone online? Okay, hearing none, is there a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. Um, the ayes have it and the minutes are approved. Okay, moving on to item four, discussion and possible action of the TIF commission resolution and any possible recommendations. Um, unless members have any questions for staff, the consultants or the developers um, before we begin deliberations on the resolution, we can get right to the business. Does anyone have anything else they wanna discuss or add or anything that hasn't been addressed in the previous um, public hearings? Okay, I'm not, I'm not hearing any. Um, the resolution as recommended by staff is before us. Is there any discussion or comments from the members? Yes. So I have a statement I want to, uh, want, to, want to read to everybody. The role of the Webster Groves and special school districts on the TIF is to ensure that the use of a TIF is in those bodies' best interests. In arriving at a conclusion, we need to take into account the best interests of the five communities that make up the Webster Groves School District. As I've said before, it's not our role to decide if the project is right for Webster. The city council bears that responsibility. Also, as I've noted before, many districts would not support any TIF on residential developments. The district recognizes the desirability of appropriate development, including the revitalization of areas that are past their prime, and we wish to provide support in a responsible manner. There've been a, number of num a lot of numbers thrown around in terms of the impact on the district. The negative impact will be much less than the $20 million, but it also won't be zero. To this end, the district believes that a 50% TIF would be a fair division of the risks and rewards in the project. We proposed that to the developer, but we were told it would be impossible to proceed with that level of financing. We entered into good faith negotiations with the developer, but ultimately we were unable to agree on a set of terms that we believe will be in the best interests of the entire district. Irrespective of how the Webster Grove City Council votes on the project, we do not believe it's appropriate for the school district to get involved in the debate going forward. Our votes on the proposed motion reflect our view of the financial aspects. We will let those speak for themselves. Thank you, David. Is there any other, um, anyone else wish to speak? Okay. Um, are we ready to move to a vote? If so, I will ask for a motion by a member to approve the TIF Commission resolution. I moved, Hampel. Moved. We need a second, please. Second. Okay, so moved by Paul Hamble and seconded by Clark Hotailing to adopt the TIF Commission recommendation. I ask our staff liaison to read the resolution title before the vote. And then uh, just to clarify, if anyone does have any further comments, there can still be discussion before we vote. So 
uh, a resolution of the Tax Increment Financing Commission of the City of Webster Groves, Missouri, approving the Douglas Hill Tax Increment Financing Redevelopment Plan, designating the Douglas Hill Redevelopment Area, approving redevelopment projects for redevelopment project areas one, two, and three, and expressing its recommendations to the City Council of the City of Webster Groves, Missouri. All those in favor, say aye, as your name is called. All those just opposed? You might check, oh. for, check for more discussion. Just before oh. we roll Any more discussion? Pam? Just a question, not about the resolution itself, but the letter. Are we going to discuss that letter from the TIF Commission? Yeah, there? I believe there is going to be discussion of that after. after? Okay. Um, okay. Yes. Thank you. Is it appropriate to take the vote before you discuss what the letter is going to have? Is that likely to impact anybody's view? Um, I don't think so, because I think in general, we're probably not going to get to a letter and we can we can discuss that now. Um, we can discuss it now. Yeah, I mean, I, the, the, um, uh, the, the county has expressed reservations of weighing in on the um, content of some of the items that were proposed in the draft letter um, to your I think to your point about looking out for the interests of the five municipalities within the district, um, the county it does not wish to weigh in on issues um, specific to Webster Groves uh, and the proposed development, uh, seeing as they represent any number of others. So, um, and Mr. Chair, if I may, I'll just add yes. in because I'll give you some context there. So, so I have, because of the letter and we heard some reservations when we put the draft letter from staff together for you all, um, heard some reservations. And so I've just pulled members and, and quite honestly, I think the outcome is that if folks want to write a letter from your own jurisdictions or a collection of you, I don't think you're gonna get to seven to have a majority of the TIF commission vote to send a letter. Uh, so if the school district as a taxing jurisdiction wishes to communicate at the local members, if you want to do that together, I'm more than happy to help you write that. I just don't think it's going to be from the TIF commission by majority vote in terms of that letter. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, specifically, there was some discussion about a, a 90% um, and is, was, there a, was there general, did you poll on that? Was there general support for that? Uh, so in terms of the financing, uh, most members have, you know, have we have talked about it, that is in the staff recommendation that went to city council. Okay. Um, and so it is there. I do think that um, the conversation amongst members is that these are some of the concerns, but rather than each individual jurisdiction putting their stamp of, we want this in, uh, because they all obviously bring different interests to the TIF commission. Yeah, I was specifically interested in the 90%. Yes. That was all. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate it. And, and I think ultimately, again, we have an up or down on what's in mm -hmm. front of us in Absolutely. the resolution. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, I David. Understand. Okay. Um, I've yes, got go some um, thoughts about um, how I arrived at my vote. Is this the appropriate time to, to, to well, share that? Because yep. it'll give away how I'm voting. But um, is that the appropriate time or when I'm called to vote? I, in fact, I would prefer if we could, if we want to do statements, yeah. explaining your vote to do that before we take the roll call. All right. Um, I jotted down some some notes last night. Uh, uh, personally, I can't separate the TIF. If this TIF is appropriate from the project itself, as it will be is if passed a pretty major public-private partnership. Um, I do feel the but four has been met, but I feel that... Um, but do I feel that the TIF is a good thing for this particular project? This has not been an open and shut case for me. It's not black and white. So that's why I really struggled with uh, this decision probably harder than <laughs> most decisions actually in my life. It's just not a black and white issue for me. Um, and it hasn't been easy. Um, the good news for me is I know every single one of the city council members and whether you go forward with this project or not, I trust all of you that you will either put together a really good development agreement or that you will take the discussion that's happened so far. And um, if it doesn't go forward um, to keep going with progressive issues that I feel are important for this community to wrestle with um, going forward. Um, I really looked at whether this agreement is good for the community. And they got in discussions with some of my friends about what is community. It's the school is part of the community. The residents are part of the community. The business district is part of the community um, and so forth. There's many communities that make up us as a whole. And I had to look at that in entirety. Um, the environment is part of the community. 
do I think that this project would ruin the character of Webster Groves forever? No, I really don't. Um, but I am not able to vote for the TIF because I believe that the size of the TIF that's been asked for, um, the land is screaming out that it's not appropriate for this particular piece of land. I am not at all against uh, the size and scope of the project. I think in this particular place, it's not appropriate for a very variety of reasons. And if you do the history of this land, I think you uh, might understand it a little bit more that in the 60s, when we annexed North Webster, we tried to fix the creek at that time. And I think we made it worse. Um, so I am not convinced that, um, um, I'm just not convinced that, 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 um, that this is the right thing to do. And I finally just want to end that um, if the environmentalists and the engineers both said this was an agreement to the creek, if there was a much larger affordable housing component to this project, if the school district said that this would help the district financially, and if the residents of North Webster that have been treated as second-class citizens in our, sisters, in our city's history um, were for this project, that it could help bridge that gap in some of the past wrongs that have happened, um, I'd be 100% behind it. But as it stands today, I'm gonna have to vote no. Thank you, Clark. Is there anybody else who'd like to speak? Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Um, so this body was convened because of a vote of the Webster Grove City Council. Uh, that council by that vote charged us with determining whether or not the proposed project before us met the requirements to warrant public assistance as requested by the developer in respect to the requirements outlined in state statute. I want to stress and encourage my colleagues to remember that the vote that we are taking today, the determination of this body is a recommendation to the city council, the governing body of this municipality. And as it was explained at our last meeting, the Webster Groves Council still has many important decisions to make for the sake of its own residents, advised of yet independent of this recommendation, not the least of those being decisions as fundamental as zoning authorizations. So this project was first contemplated by that council. The merits of this project was contemplated by the city council and put before us to decide whether or not it met the requirements in state statute to receive assistance. And I believe that it does. I believe this project does meet those requirements as outlined in state statute. And I think it's important for us to defer back to the city council to make this decision for its residents. I think there's been a lot of statements um, some of which came from the council's own liaison to this body that indicate that there are members of that council who would prefer to not have to make a tough decision for their residents and would rather us just deny this project so that they don't have to put their hands on it. Um, and I just find that, um, I don't believe that's the reason that this body was convened. Um, so I just wanna say, you know, I, again, as, it's, as we are charged in state statute, I believe that this project does warrant the public assistance that's been requested. So I will be voting in favor. And again, I will be deferring back to the city council to make these decisions for uh, their residents. So thank you, Mr. Chair, that's all I have. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, um, I'm not hearing any other up. Oh. I'd speak real quick. I'd, I'd just like to second that sentiment. I think as the role put in front of us as members of the TIF commission that clearly states what we are asked to do is not not to approve or disapprove of the project as a whole. Um, there's obviously a lot of factors that are beyond what's been necessarily presented to us as members of this commission to make those decisions. And I have the, the faith in our elected officials that were put in place to make those decisions to do what is best for our community. Um, I, as a representative of the, uh, the taxing districts of Webster, have weighed pros, cons, seek feedback from other members of the business community that are could potentially be impacted by that and um in my in my opinion i haven't seen any anything presented to us that would be detrimental to our taxing districts that i'm on this board to represent and my vote would be yes thank you mark um 
Yeah, not not to belabor a point here, but I've um, I would say since the beginning of this process, I've probably spent about forty to fifty hours deliberating, researching, going back to the history of TIF, the first TIF being introduced in the early 1950s in California, um, really diving in and trying to understand what is um, on the table and what has been presented to us. And to Kevin's point, what the evaluation is for the standard, um, the need for uh, public assistance and not necessarily the um, development uh, as it stands. So I don't think that my uh, opinions um, on the uh, TIF are unknown based on my conversation from the last meeting. So um, if anyone else has anything else they'd like to say, I'm going to move to the vote. I would like to just also uh, echo the comments of Mr. Hinkle and Mr. McKenna that this TIF project does meet the requirements of the TIF statute, that this project meets the requirements of the TIF statute, and that the next chapter of this scenario will be for the uh, city of Webster Groves to play its appointed role in deciding whether or not this project should go forward. Thank you, Paul. Okay, um, I'm gonna move to the vote. Um, all those in favor say aye as your name is called. All those opposed say no as your name is called. The clerk will call the roll. Fran? Kyle Wilson. Aye. Ryan Murphy. No. Clark Hotailing. No. Mark Hinkle. Aye. Andrea Nelson Roberts. Aye. Ray Galk. Aye. Paul Hampel. Aye. Jay Nelson. Aye. Jacob Trimble. Aye. Kevin McKenna. Aye. David Addison. No. Pam Frazier. No. Remind me what that count was. I lost eight to, eight to four. The ayes have it by a vote of eight to four. The resolution is adopted. Um, members, uh, the last meeting we discussed a possible letter to the city council uh, on which our staff liaison will give us an update. Do we need to revisit that anymore, Eric? I, I don't think so, unless uh, I'm again, anyone who wants to send a letter on their own position, I'm happy to help if you need information or help, so. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, item five on the agenda, the action to authorize approval of minutes of the November 10th, uh, 2021 meeting. It's actually this meeting. So is November this meeting, 29th. correct. Um, members, as we have acted on the TIF resolution, our need to meet again is highly unlikely. As we normally adopt minutes when we meet, the staff requests that we authorize the minutes for this meeting upon review by the chair so that the record can be completed. Is there a motion to permit the chair to approve the minutes of this meeting? So moved. Second. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Who was the second? Trimble. Jacob Trimble. Thank you. Okay, moved by David, seconded by Jacob uh, to approve the minutes. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. The minutes as amended are approved. Uh, item six, there is no next meeting. Um, and so I uh, wish best of luck to both the developer and the city council as they move forward um, in their deliberations. Um, thank you to all your members for your hard work. Appreciate it. I, I really appreciate getting to know all of you uh, through the process as well. Um, and I look forward to uh, interacting here in Webster Groves in the future. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>